In this segment, we're going to talk about resists. Look at the painting back here. Can you see the gold outlines, the silver outlines? There's also black and clear. All of these are done with different types of resists and goudas. It helps to make the shape and it helps to contain the color from flowing and, and, and bleeding into other areas. We have several different types. There's traditional gouda, which is a solvent-based gum product. There's acrylic-based Gouda from Pebio. There's water-based Gouda from Jacquard, and different types of applicators. The traditional name for resist painting is the Certe technique. Certe means to fence in, and that's what you're doing when you're drawing your outline. And if you don't fence it in, you'll get these little bleeds and, and serendipitous little accidents, which I like, but if you don't want them, you'll want to be very careful how tight you, you do those lines. tested all the goudas on this a scrap piece of 100% polyester. Always important to test your products. You can find out the good, the bad, and the things you have to watch for in small before you work on your large piece. So the Gouda Resist was by far the easiest to use, but the smelliest. So it is a solvent that thins the gum, um, and you do have to have a solvent to clean out your tools afterwards. So you want to work in a very well ventilated area, probably not good to work with kids. It did provide the easiest to use um, and the tips were very nice. The 0.9, the 0.7, the 0.5, there is a visible difference between them. So it was lovely to work with. Um, it has an okay feel on the fabric. Unfortunately, after you've uh, painted and heat set this, you still need to dry clean it in order to get the tactile feel away. So that might be a deterrent, but again, it is the most professional result. Next up is the Pebio water-based Gouda. This comes in the three colors. It's already dispensed in an applicator tip. You just poke a pin in the end and you can squish out a reasonable sized Gouda. Uh, if you were to cut the tip a little further back, you can see your hole would get larger. While it's convenient to use, its drawback is it didn't like the polyester fabric. So after I painted it and heat set it and took it over to the tap to wash out, I found I washed out the acrylic. This being polyester, it's not ideal. You should work on 100% natural fibers. So I'm going to test it again on my 100% cotton over here. But it was really convenient to use. By far my favorite is the water-based resist by Jacquard. If it's your first time buying this product, I recommend the little container with this tip. It makes it much easier to fill this little applicator bottle. Um, let me just stick it right in there and it fills up. I like to buy the large size. That way a little goes a long way. And I can attest to the shelf life of this is at least over a year. I've had this product for several different school demos and it goes a long way. So big used paintbrush, you can stick it in there. It does have a tendency to settle, 
at the top is too thin, at the bottom is too thick. If you don't mix it well, if it's too thin, it will fall on the fabric and spread out. You won't have a crisp design. And if it's too thick, the problem becomes it doesn't squeeze out predictably through the container and you get a lot of blobs and globs. So make sure you stir it really well. Pouring it into the little syringe is kind of tricky, but it's not too hard. Put my finger on the bottom to plug the hole. And I just pour it in to the bottle like that. I don't fill it up all the way because I want to provide a little bit of air. And now you have to turn it upside down and let that air bubble get all the way to the top. Otherwise, the resistance is too much. So you can see I can start to squish it a little bit now. Pushing all the air out, just like the nurse does. I'm going to catch it in this little container here. There we go, see, now I've got the air bubble out and it's easy to dispense. Okay, here's the syringe tip. I generally keep a little bit of paper towel handy. I get it just started. And I like the thumb technique. So here you see there. The syringe provides kind of a nice tip size. And you're getting a delayed viewing as it's really only showing when it's wetting the fabric. Teachers will love the water-based resist washes out and there's nothing left on the fabric but the paint. It's really wonderful. No dry cleaning, no acrylics to worry about. Just wash it out and you're done.